welcome to another edition of Internet Business Show, where we bring on our guests to show you internet businesses that can give you financial freedom. And on today's edition, I have my very good friend and colleague in the cryptocurrency industry, Munachi Ogoeke. He's the business developer at Yellow Card and is also a veteran cryptocurrency trader. Munachi, so good to have you today. Chris, <laughs> how, <laughs> how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Munachi, tell us, tell us about yourself. Tell the audience about who is Munachi. Wow. Okay, Chris, I, I'm sure you know me very well because <laughs> truth, truth be told, like me and Chris, we started crypto almost the same time. I remember when it was, maybe Chris started a little bit earlier, but it was in 2016. Yeah. Just before the first, uh, well, we call it our set because in crypto, they are usually sets. Yes. You know? So there was the set of the people that bought at 2014. They were cashing out at 2016 yeah. or 2017. Yeah. We, so we got in like when it was 500. You know, it was fun days then, you know. But me, my name is Munachi Ogweke. I'm a graduate of uh, industrial and production engineering from the University of Ibadan. Greatest UIT. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I've always been an entrepreneur. You know, when I was in school, I started my first company. It was mm. called Varsity. It mm. was an e-commerce pair-to-pair platform for connecting students. So you mean a P2P guy? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've always been a pet to pet guy, you understand? So I started that in 2014 when I was still in school, you know. It's still a big business till now. My friend is still running it, mm. you know. And for me, uh, I've always been that kind of guy that loved business and I love technology at the same time, you know. Mm. And the good thing is the course I read, Industrial Engineering, teach you how to be an engineering manager mm. at heart, mm. you know. So scaling that up, I... I came to learn about crypto sometime in 2016. Um, a friend of mine was doing some form of business online and he was like, we needed a way to transparently uh, crowdsource money and crowdfund money within like a couple of sets of people for mm -hmm. deployment, you know, and Bitcoin seemed to solve the problem very well. And this was in 2016. So I got my first Bitcoin for about, about $500. That was what the price was then. And, you know, I first got it, I didn't really know what it was, you know, it was just crypto. I started doing, I'm a very, very curious person at heart, mm. you know, and I had a little bit of technical experience from my startup, you know, so with that, I was able to, you know, when the business ended, I was, st I was left with um, a bunch of Bitcoin, you know, so with those Bitcoin, I started researching, I started reading, you know, and the good thing is um, being a very curious person and being someone that is willing to learn. And I always say this, you need to pay for knowledge, no sure. matter how. And that's why I love what you guys are doing at Dawa School. You know, knowledge is not free, actually. Yeah. You know, you need to pay for, for knowledge. So th those early Bitcoin I got, I started trying new things. You remember, we tried master nodes. Most of we don't know what master <laughs> nodes are today. Man, we did a lot of, we did master nodes. We did mining. You know, we there's literally no aspect of crypto. The industry I've not really I've not actually tried out you know but at the end of the day being early in the space you you tend to gravitate to what you like and you find out where your strengths are yeah. you know my strength was in business development building products that people could use I was always been a product guy I've always been a business guy so I was able to pull one and two together to create something that people would like you know and with that you know I started my first company in crypto, it was, it was an OTC DEX, you know, and I joined Yellow Card in 2018 and it's been a... It's been so, a in one question, Munachi has actually answered how he got into crypto <laughs> yeah. and he has introduced himself as both the curious guy, the guy that likes to build products mm -hmm. and all that. So, Munachi, um, I want you to describe to us the problems Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are solving in Africa. Okay. That's actually a very good one, you know, and especially with uh, with all the uncertainties that are happening in the space, especially in Nigeria now mm -hmm. with crypto, you know. So first, first and foremost, crypto gives people access to money, Interesting. you know, and in that sense, it gives you ability, you know, to one hold value for yourself, mm -hmm. you know, without really um, having to trust a third party, being it a financial institution or a government entity. Mm. It could be good or bad, depending on how you look at it. But at the end of the day, the choice is yours. 
you know, it gives you access to remittances. Mm. It's a problem in Nigeria. And the, the simple truth and the fact is, it's more expensive to send money between Nigeria and Ghana than send money from the US to Nigeria. Wow. It's almost four times more expensive to do that. They're because of intra-Africa trade almost has zero liquidity. I really want the audience to get this thing. Yeah. Because remittance is a big it's problem. It's a very big... It's a big problem when it's even coming from um, Western countries. Moving within African countries is a big problem. It's a bigger problem than even getting money from the U.S. And what you're saying is that with cryptocurrencies, these issues are solved, are solved easily. Yeah. So that gives cryptocurrency a kind of value mm -hmm. and... Uh, utility. When they utility. say Bitcoin doesn't have utility, I just laugh at them. Let me tell you, Bitcoin, aside from the U.S. dollar, has liquidity in all markets, and I always say this, and that is a singular move. I like this. Because Bitcoin is the only asset, apart from the US dollar, that gives you, in fact, it's even better than the US dollar, because it gives you, it's liquid in every single market in the world. Every single currency, every single state has a Bitcoin exchange, has someone that wants to move, that wants to give you the local currency wow. for Bitcoin. And that singular utility alone is the biggest value is the biggest value add to the crypto industry because it gives people ability to move money without restrictions. I want this edition to be everywhere on the internet because I, yeah, I know cryptocurrency, of course, you know, but with this practical example you're sharing, a lot of people have not had this. Yeah. And that's why they think the whole cryptocurrency thing is just we coming to buy and sell. Yeah. The fact that you can move money to any part of the world, and what you're saying, I remember 2018, I and Nathaniel Lewis, the guy behind the, the Dash guy in Nigeria, we were in Dubai, we needed money. And there was no fiat for us. So what we did was we, we, we went on a particular website and we sought for uh, local Bitcoin. Yeah. We sought for anyone who has um, uh, DRAM and they want to give us, and they want to give us DRAM and we are ready to give them crypto. And Munachi, what we did was we just went to, after that, the guy said, okay, let's come to the central mosque. We came to the mosque there in Dubai, and we just, with our QR code, Kim, he got his crypto into his account, and he gave us fiat. So, so easy. And that's the power of Bitcoin. Wow. Take it or leave it. Wow. That singular utility is the biggest value. Add. And the reason, the U.S. is what they are today because of the... Uh, the U.S. The, dollars. Yes, the U.S. dollars and the, the whole... Um, uh, economic and uh, their financial, economic and their uh, military strength. Yes. You know, take that away from the U.S. because of the U.S. dollar has so proliferated the world. In fact, eighty percent of the U.S. dollar supply is outside the U.S. Yeah. Are you saying? Yeah. Are you saying with this now, anybody who controls money supply controls the economy? Anyone who controls the supply of money across the world controls the economy. So that the, means, the world economy. That means in future, or we're saying in future, and even now, is that Bitcoin mm -hmm. is going to be is already a major economic force. It is already, and everybody's aware of it. They may deny, deny it. it. They are in denial, <laughs> but it's, they re the reason why they're denying it is because of they know, like they know that it is something. Interesting. You know, if, they, if they didn't know it was something, like they wouldn't even talk about it. Why would they be bothered? Interesting. Yeah. Let's go on a one-minute break and we'll be back. Skip this ad just as you skip buying Bitcoin at $4,000 and Ethereum at $100 in 2020. And now Bitcoin and Ethereum have reached a new all-time high in price. Don't you want to learn how to make money by trading and investing in cryptocurrencies in 2021? and beyond. In 2020, during the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, I wrote an article advising people and pushing them to buy Bitcoin, stablecoin, and other cryptocurrency. I'm sure those who took my advice are richer now. 2021 is another year that opens opportunities for you to make money from the crypto market. There are two sets of people watching this video right now. The first one are those who are going to ignore this offer, make mistakes, make excuses, and move on. The second one are those who are going to take this offer, join my students who are making millions from the cryptocurrency market. My name is Chris Annie, Africa's number one crypto influencer, teacher, and founder, Daba.school. Welcome to my online course. In this trade and make money course, you learn how to buy, 
how to sell, coins to profit from fundamental analysis, technical analysis, how to spot a coin that will make you money, how to also avoid losses in the cryptocurrency market, and a lot more. Not just that, when you get this course, you will also be added to my private premium signal room where you will see the coins to buy and the coins to profit from. So what are you waiting for? Click the link below to get this course or go to www.daba.school and get the Trader Make Money course. You can also download the Daba app and get the course on your Daba app. What are you waiting for? I'll see you there. Welcome back. This is the Internet Business Show and I'm with my friend Munachi. And it's been an exciting show. In short, I am learning new things. We've talked about how Bitcoin, the big is used for remittance, the big utility that's in cryptocurrency. And Munachi, tell us, tell us, has Bitcoin given you financial freedom? Wow, that's, that's, that's a loaded question. You know, so it depends on what you classify as financial freedom. Some people classify financial freedom as the ability to use money whenever they want it. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, um, I feel like I'm in control of my money. I feel like I can travel to any part of the world now and I can interact with the, the financial system. Yeah. Let me give you an example. So a, one of my partners, Chris, was telling me about, he was telling me the story of a friend that he knew in Syria. Mm. So this guy in Syria lived like a king. Mm. He was so rich that he had lions in his house. Mm. That type of rich, you know. Royalty. Royalty rich type of rich. You know, but you know the, the issue with Syria. Syria got Syria, Syria is destroyed now. This guy is now a taxi driver in the US. He, he managed to get out of Syria, Jeez. but he now a taxi driver. He lost all his wealth. Jeez. You know, and this is this is wow, the, this wow, is, wow. This is the value proposition of crypto. Wow. Like <laughs> you can't you you need to be hedged. You need to be hedged. You need you need you need an alternative. You need a plan B. And crypto is that edge. Is that edge? You need a plan B actually. And in that sense, it gives you financial freedom. Mm. You know, you're not scared that man. One day, everything is going to go bust. Mm. You know, mm. yes, it gives you financial freedom. You know, and there are many ways to look at it. You can say in the sense of prosperity, mm -hmm. right? Because crypto also gives you because of when you look at the fundamentals, right? of Bitcoin as an asset, you know? Yes, people say it has no intrinsic value, but at the end of the day, value comes from utility. Mm -hmm. right? Value comes from utility. Value comes from utility. The fact that you're able to use something, you know, gives it value. The yes. fact that I'm able to wear cotton yes. and turn it to a cloth yes. gives it value. Gives it value. It's, 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 and, not, and, and with that value, people start paying for exactly. it. Exactly. And that's what brings the money to exactly, the market. Exactly. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, that is what gives Bitcoin value, you know. And if you look at it, the fundamentals and the mathematical models behind crypto makes it a oh, sound type of money. This is a masterclass. <laughs> because one is, it gives, it has a, 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 a limited supply. And right. many people take that for granted, but it's actually a very, very big deal. Because mm. now we know that come what may, we have a mathematical this and proven no. forecastable amount of supply oh so you know when you're doing your mathematical <laughs> models right there's a lot of variables especially with uh, with economic models for economies mm. there's a lot of variables mm. you don't know how much money is going to be printed you don't know what fiscal policies or we, uh, monetary we policies. actually know the number of bitcoin in circulation but we don't know the amount of dollars or naira exactly. or yuan in circulation so i can't ex actually extrapolate my wealth in a couple of years i can only guess Mm. By using what inflation rates, mm. you know, and inflation rate is not like a steady value; it keeps fluctuating. Yes. So it creates a lot of it creates a lot of um, uncertainty. uncertainty. Now with Bitcoin, there is a fixed amount of supply. Now what we know is utility creates value, value creates demand, right? So I know that no matter what, mm. there's going to be demand for Bitcoin because somebody somewhere would need to do something, would need to move money, would need to require a wow. way to hedge and protect his wealth. And that is where Bitcoin is. So I know that there's going to be demand, you know, and I know there's... So when I know there's going to be demand and I know that the supply is fixed, I can always say, I can always say that there's going to be an upward trend 
Mm -hmm. for the, the price of the of cryptocurrency mm -hmm. you understand and me putting money now now the, i always tell people nothing bitcoin is a very 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 volatile asset on the short term because yeah. of there's a lot of it's a new industry yeah. you know and there's a lot of people playing in the space mm -hmm. you know you just need to be smart about it mm -hmm. but on the long term bitcoin is extremely predictable it's more predictable than any other thing because of wow. why it has a proven mathematical model wow. and all the the, there are no, the, the amount of variables have been reduced to some constants, which we know. We know the supply constant. Yes. And if with that, I can always extrapolate what the price will be. Not extrapolate to a good degree, but I know that so there is going to be, it's going to, it's going to keep on moving in our portrait. In 2016, yeah. I wrote an e-book and ABC of cryptocurrency. And you know, in that e-book, I wrote, as of 2016, that one day, the price of Bitcoin will go to $1,000, $5,000, $10,000, $50,000, even $100,000, we can't see. As of 2016. Yeah. But I cannot forecast the same thing for my own fiat money. You can't, actually. You can't do the same thing for your... In short, you, we, you can't even predict the inflation rate of your own country because you don't know... The inflation rates being given to us today are just the low numbers to make us not to be terrified. And who even determines that, Seth? I can't, I, can't, I can't audit it myself. With crypto, I can audit it myself. Mm. Yeah. That's what makes it sound money. Exactly. I can audit what's in there. I can, I can see the number of supply. We can even see where money is even moving to in the exactly. crypto world. Exactly. Well, this is amazing. This is amazing. Now, Monachi, how has Bitcoin actually changed your life? <laughs> <laughs> not the one you said, the one you would not say. <laughs> <laughs> you choke. <laughs> 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 oh, man, that's a deep one, you know. <laughs> We are managing. <laughs> <laughs> we thank God. <laughs> we thank God. <laughs> we thank God. You know. We thank God. You know. Okay. Yeah, that's much I can say. <laughs> if you really understand this answer, <laughs> you deserve a giveaway. All right, well, actually, let's move to the next one. But we know Bitcoin has changed our lives. Yeah. Uh, Bro, I knew, I knew you. I knew, we knew how to back then. We knew how to We knew how to hustle. <laughs> we knew how to go for you know, events. You know, you know, we you know, try to pitch our product. No, nobody, none of us is pitching anything. We don't need we're investors. Building. <laughs> we're building now. And, you know, uh, I want to say this for those who don't, who don't know. But some of us, we know the face we came from. Yeah. You could see. We'll project, I'm sure they'll project some pictures on the screen to see where we're coming from. And how Bitcoin has changed our life. I think a picture will just do the needful, okay? Even though there are more, but this is what I'll just keep it at. Um, is it the prosperity? Is it the life change? The fact that you can pursue your dream now without... It's not that see if we have the money no. like that. But you know, there's no pressure. There's no pressure. There's no pressure. You, you can dream now. Can because <laughs> there's a real thing where you are actually hustling and when you're actually in the state or where you're dream, where you're working from the dream level yeah like today wow. we could finance so we could finance a studio you could without you, asking anybody for without asking anybody you know it's 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 it's, 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 it's a thing of privilege let me tell you let me give you a, a true story so when i wanted to start my company right um i had i was very bubbly then you know me now i was very i've always been a bubbly guy mm. you know and i've always been a passionate person about what i did you know so i took this proposal to a guy, I don't want to mention his name, and he saw it and he felt it was good. Mm. This dude offered me 18 million for 60% of my company. Jesus. And I was so I was so frustrated that I almost in fact I took the money. And I was like, okay, I will do it. You know, and the guy now backed out. Wow. That's when I now started my hustle. I felt like, look, I was sad, I was down for a while, you know. But I was like, man, this is what I want to do, and I'm gonna push it, you know. Mm. And many people see you today and they'll be like, ah, you're lucky. Fuck. I don't. I don't. We're not lucky. It's just not lucky. We're not it lucky. It was strategic planning and looking in and having like a good foresight into what we did. So Anybody who took a bet on Bitcoin is not lucky. Yeah. It's not because, because it took a lot of guts. It, it took a now, lot of guts. Some, some, some people have seen the 2021 market now. Yeah. Just a little retrace from 60 to 40. Everyone is crying. People want to cry. <laughs> but some people saw 20 to 3,000. You can imagine, and they stayed. Okay. I remember when you used to come to our office then and tell us about OTC deals and how to... And they don't know all these things today. Mm -hmm. the Bitcoiners are not lucky because they have to bet on an innovation that the world is even against. Government, you want... 
in my own country, we keep hearing different kind of narratives against Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. And we don't want to just talk about that. But Munachi, if someone wants to come into the crypto industry, a newbie, what would you guide? How would you guide the person? What would you tell the person to do? What would you tell the person to learn? Okay, first things first, you know, I would always say this. Don't rush into crypto because you feel like you can make fast money. Mm -hmm. Man, I've been in this space in 2016. I'm no, I'm, it's not my first, it's not like I came in yesterday, mm -hmm. you know. I've seen a lot of ups, I've seen a lot of downs, I've lost a lot of money, and I've made a lot of mistakes too, you know. But the most important thing is, are you acquiring knowledge? Mm. Are you learning? Mm. Are you learning from your mistakes? Mm. And are you managing your risks well? You know, I think those are the most important things you need to do. First of all, YouTube is the biggest Call, um, is the biggest encyclopedia in the world. Mm -hmm. You can learn anything on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, just go on YouTube, search crypto. What is Bitcoin? Start from there. Consume as much. I started there too. I started there too. Consume a lot of crypto, um, crypto content. One I usually used to enjoy is called Crypto Zombie. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm giving it on the show, but Crypto okay. Zombie was a, was a daily show. I always watched it. You know, and the guy always talks about crypto. He's a bull. But he always gives good analysis about what crypto, um, where the market was. And those kind of, see, people don't understand the importance of education, mm. right? It's not about going to school. Education mm -hmm. nourishes your mind, mm. you know? Mm. And you need to be a curious person. You start making constant and uh, conscious decisions about things. You start understanding things better, mm. you know? So with the education, you can now start trying your hands out on different forms of trading. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you need to find out what works your personality you. works for you mm. in crypto because crypto has a lot of verticals. Mm. There's a lot of verticals. There's DeFi, there's NFT, there's, there's, NFT, there's, there's blockchain there's, programming, there's, blockchain programming there's, uh, uh, there's a lot of it. Yeah. There's online trading, there's uh, exchange there's, building products. Man, even if you're a typical financial guy, there's options, there's futures, there's margin. There's, there's hedge OTC, funding. there's head funding, there's a lot of things you can do, you know, so you need to find your vibe. And this is what happened with me when I came into the cryptocurrency industry. The first things first I found, I, I watched Andreas Antonopoulos, uh, What is Bitcoin? And for, for 12 hours, I was watching different YouTube videos. Those things convinced me. And later on, I met uh, a coach in the US, Mr. Caleb, who taught me cryptocurrency trading. Mm -hmm. And I paid for his class and... So when I came to the crypto space, I had just three things I knew I was going to do. Number one, education. Number two, crypto asset management, which is the hedge fund. And number three, uh, I think we were major two first. Number three, of course, my own personal trading and all that. So tr cryptocurrency trading, hedge fund business, and education were my three core. Now, it's now that I've grown, that I'm now thinking of, man, let's, let's do VC. Let's, let's start floating funds that will invest in cryptocurrency startups. Yeah. Let's start thinking of, now I'm, I'm ready to start even, if I see any crypto company, like there's someone I've been looking at, I won't mention his name now, uh, in case the deal didn't, does not go through. <laughs> I've been looking at his company, I'm like, okay, guy, what this guy is doing, we're going to buy shares into it. We're going to buy into it, okay? Once I see cryptocurrency products doing well, both exchanges, I want to go into the company. I may not be the one launching it, but I want to, I want to buy into it. I want to be part of the owners. I want to promote it. Okay, you can even do media. You can see what we're doing with um, uh, Daba TV. Of course, it's not just cryptocurrency, it's both for technology, but you now know your niche. You, as you expand, as you grow, you know your vibe. But, but you need to play in the industry. You don't just yeah. stay you outside. You need to make mistakes, exactly. Yes, you need to make, a lot of people are actually afraid of mistakes. You can't be Okay, afraid. you're afraid to lose money, but they want to make money. Some of us you see today, you think, oh, every time we're talking about big coins. <coughs> if we mention some of the US dollar loss that's happened in some <laughs> trade, you will, not, you, you will run. But you see, we know this part of the industry, and we are learning from these things, and we are growing at the same time. So as a newbie, of course, take your time to learn, take your time to go for knowledge. And of course, we already have packages, which you're seeing on the website, on the, on, on the, on the screen. I have my personal beginner's class, Crypto Money Bondu, which you can get on chrisani.com. That's for beginner's class. You learn how to detect scams, how to even save and edge your money in crypto, how to do cryptocurrency savings, Okay, and that will profit you. Then uh, you, you now move to if you want to go into the trading business, you go into the trader make money course on daba.school that will help you become a better trader and join our trading community. So, Monachi, next is what do you think is the future of crypto in Africa, starting with Nigeria? Wow, um, that's, that's actually a loaded one again. Um, 
first of all, and first of and foremost, I feel we need to educate our government. Mm. You know, Wahala. It's actually <laughs> it's actually a very big and it's a very urgent intervention that we need because mm. I feel like. In fact, crypto media doesn't crypto African crypto media they seem to do things out of vibes and they don't say a lot of things because of they want to get catchy. Mm. Like the one they were saying about Bitcoin, Nigeria being the second largest Bitcoin market. It is not true. Mm. <laughs> Nigeria's P2P was the highest on some exchanges. Like maybe local Bitcoins and packs for because mm. those exchanges are exchanging some forms of money that other countries don't use anymore. Mm. You know, and the regulations in those countries don't allow people to actually interact with crypto in that form. You understand? So obviously, if people are not using a form of payment in one country and in the country that are going to use it, Nigeria is going to top high. Mm. It's not like Nigeria is we are a shabby user of crypto. We use crypto because of there's a lot of unemployment in the country. Mm. You understand? So there's a lot of crypto trading happening. Mm. Mm. But it doesn't mean that Nigeria is the number two, two. in the world. Come on. So Nigeria is not number two in crypto. Let's 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 break that listen because it even wants to take me to the one where I'm gonna ask you about the misconceptions people mm -hmm. have. Nigeria is not number two in cryptocurrency trading, okay, or in the cryptocurrency industry. We don't have much developers like we have in Asia. We don't before you call Nigeria, you have to call the US, you have to talk about China, Singapore, you have to talk about Singapore, ah, ah, ah. you have to talk about the, Korea, the UK, South Korea. you have to talk about the UK, oh. talk about Germany, talk ah. about several European nations. Even Israel. <laughs> we are not on the major map for cryptocurrency as a whole in the market. Yes, we can inject funds, we can do that. And that's why till today, there is no cryptocurrency project in Africa that is currently worth 100 million US dollars. There's no, but there are multiples of them. Mm, maybe some, maybe no, 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 you know, you know, there are some of them yeah, that could, yeah, on code, uh, you know. <laughs> you see, for instance, I'm talking even about the cryptocurrency market cap. For instance, now okay. before you say Nigeria is number two on the how many crypto how projects many crypto projects are in the, in the uh, current market? Uh, in top 30. Bitcoin is decentralized. Okay, Forget Ethereum it. is from. Vitaly Buterin, the guy is based in Canada. Yeah. BNB is done by an Asian guy. Dogecoin is there. So by the time you list all these top 10, top 100, top 100, top you have seen seven. Nigeria there. You never so seen please African president. And please, don't put Nigeria in a state where we never reached before. Exactly. We are not there yet. We are still starting. And that's why if you're an investor, this space is big and has big potential. So, Munaji, continue. You talked about educating the government. Yeah, I Let's feel like when we educate the government, the value chain we're gonna, is going to trickle down, mm. right? Because we, the government influences more people than you actually think. You know? mm. The CBN governor says a lot of things that a lot of people listen to. And it's fine. I feel like if we, we need to have like um, sessions with them and talking about what we actually... Are and what we are not and what we can provide, mm. you know. From there, I think we can now go into the mass education of the people. Mm. You understand? So once people start understanding what you can do with crypto, what you can't do with crypto, mm. you know, crypto is very, very transparent. Very. It's, it's actually very, very difficult to do to do a scam with crypto. It's ex extremely difficult True. because see, eighty percent of the crypto flows through a couple amount of exchanges. Mm -hmm. There is no way. A Bitcoin will go five times without landing on an exchange that is KYC. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, if you do an illegal thing with crypto, mm -hmm. there is one way or the other, there's going to be a leg that's going to lead to you. Mm. Because the moment somebody terminates it into an exchange, they will hold the person. Mm -hmm. Then they will tell the person to provide the person that. Even if you don't do KYC, you know the person now, obviously. Yes. Yes. There has to be some form of link. Yes. So you need to, you need to understand that Bitcoin is actually a very, very transparent product. You know, and it was transparent by design, yes. unlike cash, you know. And Do you see a future in Nigeria where companies will be edging their portfolios in Bitcoin? <laughs> I didn't know already. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't know this. Of Nigeria? Yeah, they, see, every company, yeah, every company like, sheet. Everybody, everybody needs to, like I said, even you as an individual, you need to have a hedge. Mm. Talking about companies that have financial analysts. Mm. You know, everybody needs to understand that you need... A hedge. And with what you're saying now, for those companies who may be watching and don't know yet, you, you think putting Bitcoin on their balance sheet or having it as an edge is a good financial decision well, on the long term? Well, on the long term. 
like I said, I don't want to give anybody financial advice. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, one thing you need to understand is you need to look for an asymmetric, asymmetric non-correlated asset. Mm. An asset that you know that if you go put it on your portfolio, even if the market is going one way, it doesn't actually always follow the market. Mm. It, it has its own mind on its own. Mm. You start, equity, stocks, bond, all these things are controlled by monetary policy. Mm. You know, everything is controlled by uh, stimulus checks. The moment the, moment the, the U.S. government started pumping that money, mm. the, you see the equity market started going up mm. because there's no other place for money to terminate again. You know? Wow. Once there's economic crisis, equity, bonds, everything starts to crash. Because of all of them, because of the, they have been traded and they have been mixed into products and they already become the same thing. Hmm. You understand? But with crypto, it's a, it's a non-correlated asset. It can move on its own and it can, prove, it can move on. Like now, um, some markets are moving now, but crypto will always move towards where the market says it is. Hmm. You understand? The fear, to, the fear to greed index always tells you what is happening in the market. You understand? Hmm. With that, with the supply... Without government intervention. Without government intervention. This is a market that is that is adjusting itself to the information that is coming around. Mm. There's still, still a lot of, it's still very, very speculative because it's still a young product. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's going to get to a position where bigger players are going to come in. There's going to be that liquidity and the mm. market is going to be almost stable. It may, not be, it may not be now, but eventually... I can remember better. in 2020, people were calling for the death of Bitcoin because of Corona. Mm -hmm. And we saw what happened mm -hmm. at the end of the day. After the flash crash and boom, yeah. Because they are performing other assets in yeah. the past 10 yeah. years. So uh, with what you're saying, you've all, we, we, we were looking to, for, towards a bright future with yeah. crypto in Nigeria. Amen. And some, <laughs> and some of the misconception is that Nigeria is not number two in the cryptocurrency industry. We may be doing good volumes in P2P trading, but we are not number two in this thing. And please and please, I want to say this. Cryptocurrencies are not investment scams. Don't place them like that. Some people can use cryptocurrency the same way they use money or fiat for MMM and all those things. Don't place crypto in the same way. Crypto is way different. And that's why we're pro telling you to go after education so you can get this game. So why don't you tell me, who are your favorite entrepreneurs in the cryptocurrency space? Hmm. Okay. Um, one of the people I, uh, I really admire a lot is uh, Barry Silbert. Mm, interesting. You know, My those mother. guys are... Uh, one guy I really like, I know people don't like him, but I really like him. I, you know I like him. <laughs> you know I like him. He's Bitcoin Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Rojava. I, I like Rojava. No, I actually like the guy. Rojava is, is energetic. energetic. Yes. You know, and I love people that believe in what they believe in. Yes. You understand? It shows that you have drive. And man, if you believe in what you believe in, whether you're right or wrong, it's your own business. It's now me for me to decide whether I, I believe in you or not. I actually love Rojava from the one. Yeah, you understand? The Bitcoin Jesus. Because yeah, I, lo I, I love all his evangelism. He, yes, exactly. The, taking umbrella, even under the rain. Yeah, under the rain. Going to schools yeah. in Japan. Man, these guys, mm -hmm. these guys were there when there was nothing. True. You understand? True. And... Those are the kind of people you see them. They are big boys. They, they, don't, they, they, they are big boys. They, they don't care what goes on in the market. <laughs> yeah, they, they know they will eat for life. You yeah, understand? So you know, and they are still cool about it. They are still evangelizing mm. about crypto and stuff like that. So those are the people I admire. I admire a lot of Nigerian entrepreneurs as well. You know, and you know people like you. Now nah, it's right from day one. I've been true. <laughs> you know, so those are those are those are the kind of people I admire. I like people that build products that mm. people use. You know, not just the ones that build it for to cash out, you know, but those that actually build viable products, the coin bases, mm. the blockchains, mm. you know. And if you listen to their stories, you find out that, you know, at the end of the day, if you listen to the story of the guys from Coinbase, blockchain, you find out that they actually started from the same place. All of them know themselves. It's a cabal. Mm. The same way that all the most of the big boys in crypto we know them in yeah. Nigeria is the yeah. same set of Circle. people. Yeah. Because those are the those are the set of people that actually build this the space. industry. Yes, you know when we were when we were host, I remember time we used to go for conferences, we used to try to organize meetups. meetups. We we're pushing all these things yeah. back then. Now we are, we are a little bit lazy because <laughs> when if you don't want to, it's your own business at this point. <laughs> you know, you know, you know. I, I I go to that place on Facebook and the social media where if you're arguing against Bitcoin, I don't have time. <laughs> I have a portfolio of how many things to go and manage. Exactly. So. We we have the market. The market has not finished collecting what we want exactly. to do. Exactly. The one we have. Self, <laughs> yeah. That was stressing. Okay, you know? so just like Satoshi Nakamoto will say, whether you believe it 
or not. <laughs> I don't have time to explain to you again. Exactly. So, and I, 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 another guy I think I, I, I've been, I, that inspired me too in the ecosystem, his name is Atoyes, the beatmix guy. Ah, Atoyes. That guy ginger. gave me some kind of boldness to talk. He has ginger. He has ginger. I can remember this guy doing Zoom meetings to get users for BitMEX. Man, okay. if you listen to all these good stories, you... Yes, they're small. Yeah. In short, I want to say this to everyone watching. If you want to be an entrepreneur in the cryptocurrency space, there's a lot of stories you need to hear. These guys, these guys you see who you call whales today. Forget the Elon Musk who are coming to or Michael Sellers and co. Follow these guys who built Combase from scratch, who were sleeping in their office, who were building blockchain or info. People who were, you know... Look, at the A's, I was watching at A's one time, one of his old YouTube videos. He was talking, Zoom meeting, explaining derivative trading from scratch. Today, he has not, when did you hear at A's in a conference or at A's somewhere and all that? But these guys, they build from scratch. So if you come into the cryptocurrency industry, you must have a long term view so that short term pullback doesn't discourage you from what we're building. Yeah. As you see, some of us, the, the, the SC exchanges are going to launch. There are still wallet programs we're still going to launch. There are things in DeFi we're going to launch. There are things in NFT we're going to build and launch. There are more edge and portfolio companies we're still going to build in the cryptocurrency industry. And we're not stopping now. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, Muna, tell us, if I mention money, what comes to your mind? Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> and if I mention crypto, what comes to your mind? Money. <laughs> mm, if you were to be a movie character, who would you be? Tony Stark. Interesting. Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> and if you were to become a billionaire, who's your billionaire model? Jeff Bezos. Ah. <laughs> the guy has panache. He swagged. <laughs> <laughs> man, that guy moves his time, man. I'm sure you want, you, you want to also go in the business of buying different companies. Don't worry. Why you have money? Like, <laughs> it's a guilty pleasure, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, Munachi, it's been nice having you on this show, internet business show, yeah. and I'm sure you've learned a whole lot. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And please, on the comment section, let us know what have you learned? What questions do you have? Maybe next time we could follow them to Munachi and we could answer them for you, okay? We want to know what you love, what you like about the program, and please do let us know what are the, what are the entrepreneurs and what are the internet businesses you would like to learn on this show. Till I come your way next time, keep succeeding. And don't forget, you can get a high income skill at daba.school. God bless you all.